you drop off your mail at the post office and you trust that it will be delivered. But dozens of letters are not making it to their intended destinations. That apparently is an issue around central Ohio. Instead, they're ending up in the wrong hands. Good evening. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Mike Jackson. I'm Colleen Marshall. Post office boxes just like this one have recently become the target of thieves. More than a dozen people, including several postal workers in Columbus, are accused of stealing your mail and the checks that were inside. NBC 4's Tyler Beckham is live at the post office in North Columbus with a story that's all new at six. And Tyler, how are they getting the mail? It's kind of a false sense of security, victims say, right, Mike? Sources say the way they did it, of the 13 suspects, four of them worked for the post office at the time of the crime, and in some cases had keys. So they were able to break inside of these drop boxes, sort through your mail, pull out the checks, and either cash or deposit them. Most people don't give much thought to dropping off a letter or two at blue mailboxes like this, but not Russell Jordan. You know, it felt like, uh, well, uh, lost some security and, and some confidence in the, the, the uh, post office. He's one of dozens of victims of a string of mail thefts from various blue boxes in the area that started late last year. We had written the check for $100 and it was changed to 740 He says he even had a $1,000 check stolen the same way after that. The first person we talked to at this mailbox in Worthington even said it's happened to her. Well, that's very sad. I mean, can't they get cameras out here to watch things? I mean, there must be a solution to the problem. Worthington Police, just one of the municipalities investigating similar mailbox check thefts, says it's slowing down as suspects are caught and tried in federal court. For Russell Jordan, that means some changes in his mailing and bill paying. Still write some checks, but uh, I have now gone to uh, paying all my bills online. And not dropping checks in those blue mailboxes. And also, I make sure that the um, envelope isn't going to sit in the bank in the, in the box overnight. Um, the, they have a last collection, I think it's at 5 o'clock, and they don't pick it up again until 7 next morning. And this is still happening. We told you about it when it started late last year. Several municipalities investigating in Worthington alone. These three victim reports, police reports, were filed this year. Incidentally, obviously, I contacted the post office for their comment, but have not heard back from them yet. Local for you in Beachwold, Tyler Beckham, NBC4. Thank you, Tyler.